Hey y'all, Chef Irix Guy here. Please subscribe to me on youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And you can contact me directly by going to irixguy.com. I hope that you enjoy this awesome recipe and please share with others and check out my other recipes too. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Chef Irix Guy here. And what I'm gonna do in this video is show you how to boil fresh squash. Now this squash is right out of Chef Irix Guy's garden. It's a yellow squash and I've already washed it. So all you do, you're gonna prepare, after it's been washed off, you, you cut the tips off. Throw those away. And then all you do is chop this up into whatever size you want. I usually go about that that big because see when this boils it'll get really soft and if you slice it too thin it's going to be it's not going to serve as well squash is a very popular vegetable in the south so if you're looking for good southern cooking this is something to serve and impress your guests And if you're not, if you don't have your own garden, you can just go down to a farmer's market and get fresh squash. It's not fresh, it's not gonna be that good. You see now, once we've got that in there, what I'm gonna do is add some water to this. And I didn't put water all the way to the top because I don't want it to boil over. So the most basic ingredients, and you can, you can change up the seasoning to suit your uh, your personal preference but one thing you need is some butter or margarine decent sized chunk of that butter is a uh, core ingredient of most all southern foods then what you're going to want to do with this is if you've got a fresh onion which i do a fresh onion is really going to going to kick up the uh, the flavor of it a lot. You put that in with it; it'll help to better season it while everything cooks. So let me prepare that onion. And for the onion, I just get it in kind of big chunks because as this as this boils, it's gonna it's gonna all separate anyway. Just a little time saver. So put your onion in there. If you don't have onion, that's not necessary. It'll still be good without an onion in it. But what you do want to add for sure is some garlic salt. Or if you just want to do garlic powder and then some sea salt, that would even be better. But this is just a garlic salt right here. It's got the garlic and the salt. So put you a decent amount of that in there and then pepper. I recommend fresh ground pepper. And you can find a link within this video's description. I've got a link to where you can order this. This is a very flavorful pepper blend. It's not just all black pepper. It's a, it's a gourmet pepper, pepper blend, so it really amps it up. So all you're gonna do now is put it on bowl, on high heat. After it comes to a boil, let it, let it boil for a minute or so, and then after it boils for a minute or so, reduce the heat to low, cover it, and just let it slowly simmer. I usually let it simmer for, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes, and it just really soaks up the flavors. And this is something I recommend doing if you're grilling out, maybe you're serving this with some steaks or something, some other kind of meat on the grill. What I would do, I would do this first, and then that way, you know they're just simmering while your uh, while your meat's grilling, and then as soon as your meat's ready, all of your side items are ready. So just another recipe from Chef Irix guys, some good Southern cooking with fresh vegetables. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. YouTube.com 
forward slash Irix guy and enjoy all of Chef Irix guy's videos. Y'all have a good day.